Ever seen an AI image and thought, how did they do that? Well, you're about to find out in this video. Today, we'll be revealing how to write the perfect AI image prompt to turn your wild ideas into jaw-dropping visuals. Now, let's be real. AI is changing the game. But most people aren't using it right. I'm sure we've all asked for an image like this, but ended up with something absolutely horrendous like this. If that has happened to you, don't worry. Stick around and we'll teach you how to be an AI pro in no time. Alright, so let's start by checking out some classic AI prompts and see what went wrong. Remember, these are the clues that will help you write better prompts. So let's see the first image. Hmm, that looks a little strange. Let's check out the prompt. Hmm, a cool dragon. See, now that's a vague prompt. I mean, cool how? Like ice breathing cool? Sunglasses wearing cool? Now, the thing is, without clear descriptors, the AI model has to go through thousands of descriptions of cool. So how will it know what you want? Now, let's see the next image. So apparently this picture is fine, but let's see the prompt. Hmm, I see the problem there. This picture has everything we asked AI specifically not to add. So there's a person walking a dog near a building, even after we asked AI not to add it. Now here's a tech problem. AI struggles with negative prompts and the word no. It's like if I tell you not to think about pink elephants. What are you thinking about? Pink elephants. See? Now, let's see one more image. Whoa, what happened here? Let's check the prompt. All right, I see. This isn't a prompt, it's a full-on novel. So, when you make your prompt way too lengthy, it won't give you an accurate result, and the extra details will get truncated. This happens because most AI models have token limits and prioritize initial tokens only, AI won't read anything after that, and you won't get the results that you want. So, before you try and generate the perfect AI image, master the art of effective prompting and let AI work for you, not against you. So first things first, let's start with the basics. I'll be telling you the 5 model of drafting prompts which will give you the perfect AI image results every time. So we start with the first S, which is set the scene. Now, over here, you're going to tell AI what and where things are happening. For example, the beach, the space station, or an underwater kingdom. This is a detail that you need to include. S number two is specify. So don't just say dog, say a golden retriever puppy wearing a red bandana. This is going to give the AI a clearer image of what you want. S number three is simplify. This simply means to keep your language clear and direct. AI doesn't need fancy words, so the simpler, the better. S number four is structure. Remember, format matters, so tell AI exactly how you want your image to be organized. And finally, for S number five, we have share the feedback. Now, every prompt is a conversation. Use what works, ditch what doesn't, and share feedback to AI to get the results that you want. So master this strategy and you'll get killer results no matter what AI model you're using. This is gonna be your holy grail for AI prompts. Now we'll be talking about how we can use a strategy for AI image generation. For this, we're gonna use ImagineArt because it is super easy and gives the best results. First, we need to define the clear subject and setting. This is gonna be our main character. For this, don't just say person. Be specific. For instance, specify the appearance, pose, expression, and clothing. Explain what they're doing and what's happening around them. The more details you provide, the more accurate the AI's output will be. Similarly, describe the settings. Is it a cyberpunk city, a magical forest, the bottom of the ocean? Tell AI where you want this to be set. Also, you can define the size and aspect ratio of your image in this first step. Now let me show you how this works. Let's create a wallpaper of a traveler and their dog on a mountain using ImagineArt. Watch how I enhance this basic idea. 
So for the subjects, I'll add this prompt. And for setting the scene, we can add this. And for the aspect ratio, I'm going to go with this. Now let's see what AI gives us. Hey, that looks pretty good. I've got all my subjects and scenes, the traveler, the dog, the mountains. But wait, I want it to be night themed. Let's see how we can tweak the prompt to get that. So now, for step two, we need to add the descriptive details and mood. This is where we bring our image to life by adding depth, mood, and atmosphere. Now ask yourself, where is this happening and how does it feel? This is where your prompt goes from good to perfect. To control every aspect of your image, you need to define the lighting, camera angle, and color palette. So now, Let's upgrade our prompt with more details. All right, so let's see what this gives us. Okay, okay. It does have that wallpaper feel, but something's still missing. It's not giving the artistic vibe I wanted. You know why? Because I didn't tell AI what style I wanted. So now for the most important part, art style. This is where we refine how the image should actually appear, like a painting, a 3D render, anime, or photorealistic artwork. So let's add these pro details to our prompt and see the magic. If you want a painting, you can say oil painting with visible brush strokes. If you want a cinematic look, you can say highly detailed, ultra-realistic cinematic lighting. If you want something stylized, add anime style or watercolor illustration. We'll go with a digital painting style for a rich artistic feel. Whoa, see the difference? This style takes this from basic to breathtaking. And that is exactly how I wanted it to be. You see how just adding the style completely transformed our image? I love it. So here's the prompt for this amazing wallpaper. You can see how we've structured the prompt to cover all the details. So we started with a clear subject and setting, then we added the descriptive details and mood. And then we took it forward by adding art style and medium. Before we wrap up, here are a few quick pro tips to make your prompts generate even better results. First, be concise and specific. Remember, less is more. Secondly, use keywords. Now, remember, AI is trained on words, so you need to explore which word fits best to your idea. Here's a few keywords that you can use in your prompts. Experiment and iterate. If the first result isn't perfect, tweak the prompt. Try swapping adjectives or style terms and then run it again. Oh, and avoid negatives like no blur or no dark, and instead focus on what you do want in the picture. Remember guys, every great artwork starts with a great prompt. So use these tips, play around, and let ImagineArt bring your ideas to life. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share your own prompt tips in the comments. Now go forth and imagine something awesome. See you next time.